SAP quality management cycle, if we talk about it, all the things which are covered in the uh, QM, from the planning phase of the uh, inspection, its execution, till uh, the notification and the control part, quality plays a very important role. In the quality management, some master data we are maintaining. Planning phase will include how you will um, inspect the material, what all things need to be created. You will plan what all materials will be inspected and how we will inspect it, what all master data need to be created for it. What will be my sampling procedure I will be using? What all MICs I will be testing? And what are the catalogs which will be required? Whether I need a catalog for my MIC or not? Because after creating my master data comes the execution part. So quality inspection here, uh, you will decide what kind of inspection need to be. Whether I, I am at the time of procurement, I am doing the inspection, at the time of production, I am doing the inspection, or at the time of sale, I am triggering my lot based on that. Okay, whether it is a 01, 0101, this is the execution part that uh, settings need to be properly maintained so that the lot should get triggered for that particular inspection type wherever the entry point is there. The material management department is involved in the integration. Like uh, we, whenever we are purchasing it, we are doing the inspection. For the incoming inspection or the raw material which we are getting, uh, on those we want to do the inspection, whether this inspection will be at the vendor end or uh, when we receive the goods mm -hmm. from the vendor, at that time we want to do the inspection or uh, these inspections are without purchase order or uh, uh, if we are receiving any material from outside at that time I want to do the inspection. So all these are the incoming inspections which will be decided uh, that whether we want the inspection for those material or not. If we are producing these uh, finished material in our manufacturing unit then during the process, we want to do the inspection, which will be a 03 inspection, or at the final finished product has been produced. At that time, we want to do the inspection. Even uh, we want it an early lot uh, creation, or it will be a final inspection we want. Wherever there is an integration between the other modules, whether it is at the time of procurement or it's, it's at the time of sales and distribution or at the time of production. Results has been entered and we have found any defect rejected, then uh, whether you are uh, creating a notification or you just want to record the defects and how you will control the quality of the product, if you are continuously getting a defect, then whether we want to raise a notification, how we can control the quality or improve the quality of the materials. So the, what are steps we can take? DMR, dynamic modification, you can add on. Tightening the quality inspection, like the SPC, statistical process control charts need to be created so that we can closely monitor the MICs which are critical and going out of the range very frequently. Those things will come under the quality control part. How you control those defects, the notification need to be created. So quality score can be updated based on that. Proper reports can be generated so that uh, we can monitor who all vendors are giving us the poor quality material so that we can block those vendors also from the further purchase if required. And if we are getting a good material, then we can reduce the inspections. Quality inspection cost can be reduced uh, 
by applying the dynamic modification rule, we can skip few inspections to decide whether we want to do the inspection for stock transfer and all also like stock is moving from one location to another location. Normally, if we are dealing with the liquids, then we call it a sample, okay? And that is a okay. separate uh, sample management part only uh, when it is a liquid. Then we consider it as a sample management. Uh, In-house production is there. We are producing the finished material and we are inspecting that material. We are giving a certificate that uh, we have done the, these many testings. Uh, what okay. all standards I have followed, what all things I have done. So uh, uh, under the quality assurance part, we can provide the quality certificates with the MICs which we have inspected on that material done the testing and the quality results are this. So on the certificate, displaying those details. So that comes under the quality certificate. Uh, people do call it as a certificate of analysis, okay, in some companies. Giving you the assurance that uh, my product is good enough. I have done these testings. In the jewelry industry, they are actually designing the jewelry product. Okay. So in that, the, how much carat of gold was used? Uh, how much are the precious stones used in that? So that uh, that in-house production is there. Producing a certificate. So it is that I am telling you or giving you a certificate that my gold purity is, say, 18 carat or 22 carat and uh, the diamonds which I am using in that particular jewelry article uh, is what is the uh, carat or uh, because even in diamond there are very specific so many specifications which are used so I will be highlighting those things in that certificate that I'm using these diamond the purity is this much and whatever is there can be displayed on the certificate we are customizing this as per the client's requirement. With the plant maintenance, when we are doing the testing for the equipments also, that is uh, under the calibration inspection. Okay, you are checking the equipments are also working properly or not. Thermometer or it is a vernier caliper or any, any equipment which is used. You are also doing the recurring inspection if the material is in the stock for a long duration. Normally, we handle the things uh, in batches. The bread that it is written for best before three days. Uh, you you might have noticed the manufacturing date is always given and the expiring date is given. Okay, within three days it is written normally. Any food article when we buy it, uh, there is always uh, mentioned that the best uh, before a date is specified and even the manufacturing date is specified. Label any material uh, with a batch. Okay, whenever they produce any material, uh, then they uh, like a whole day how many uh, things they have produced, then uh, that particular batch number will be given because the manufacturing date will be seen holding for that particular material and same um, expiring date will be there for that because uh, I'm saying if it is expiring after three days means the expiring date will be for whole batch will be after three days it will expire right for a bread recurring inspection is like when the material is handled in batches and we are doing the inspection again and again took an example of a very short life period is specified for bread or the food article but what if it is say um, any material which has a longer life I think like uh, they give you the uh, warranty period right so uh, 
normally um, 10 years warranty is given for fridge and all that the compressor will be uh, we are giving you the warranty for 10 years material which is kept in your warehouse for a long duration and it is not so sold then you are checking it again and again till its like expiring date comes that the material is good enough to be sold or not I have produced this fridge as a material and it is in my warehouse and already three years are passed. Expiring date is 10 years, suppose. So I want to check whether the fridge is compressor is still working properly or not. Okay. So compressor we are checking, suppose. So after every two years, we are doing the testing. Because the total life is 10 years, still it is in my stock and I want to do the inspection that it is working properly or not if it is not sold. Stability study is like you are checking the stability of that particular product till how much time it is good, in how much environmental condition it is good. So those things are tested. That is what is a stability study to check out the Total life of any product. SAP quality management, the, uh, once the lot is triggered, means it is a formal request that we want to do the inspection Okay, on that okay. material. Inspection lot creation indicates that, that the inspection okay. should be done on this particular material. So once the lot is triggered, then comes the quality department rules. They will do the result recording. They will they will decide whether I have to accept it or reject it. That is what is the usage decision. And then based on that, the stock will move, whether to the blocked stock or to the usable stock. Our role comes once the lot is triggered till the stock posting is done, if it is a stock value. Planning and execution for the quality management. So this is the standard flow in whatever case it is, that the lot will be created, okay? And the lot can be created either manually or automatically triggered. And mostly it is automatically triggered, okay? Then we will do the result recording. Then we will do the usage decision based on the results, whether it is accepted or rejected. Then you will decide uh, yes or no, uh, where I want to move my stock. So that part is handled by the quality department. So all these things comes under the cycle of quality management.